as you can find the question in front of you, this one of the skill, I'm um, sorry, this one of the domains of reading, it's not hard, but it needs from you to think. Because of that, I told you, when we come to the test, you're going to start from down till up, from the grammar till the reading, because the grammar is not going to take time with you. Let's find. The first one is cross-text connection. You have to read the same question first. Is it based on the text? How would the author of text two most likely regard the perspective of bluegrass purist as described in text one? So how text two will reply to the view of purist in text one. So now you have to read text two and just imitate that you are the writer of text two and find how you're gonna reply to text one. Here he said, bluegrass isn't simply, isn't simply an extension of folk tradition into the era of recorded music. In reality, Bale Mourne created the bluegrass sound in the 1940, by combining Southern folk music with commercial genres that had arisen only a few decades before. If you're gonna look here, you're gonna find that we have, or Bill more just created that kind of genre, depend on different genres, depend on different genres that had arisen only a few decades before, such as jazz and the blues. Since bluegrass has always been a mixed genre, mixed, mixed genre, contemporary bluegrass musician should not be forbidden from incorporating into it influences from rock and other mainstream genres. So now I'm going to take this point of view. This is mine. That bluegrass is not something pure. No, it came from a mixture of genres. Let's find here and how we're going to reply to this. For decade, bluegrass musicians have debated whether the, their genre should exclude influences from mainstream genres such as rock. Many insist that bluegrass is defined by its adherence to the folk music of the U.S. South, as he mentioned here. But he also he mentioned that there is a kind of rock from it. He depends on jazz and blues. Okay. Out of which bluegrass emerged. Now I need the point of purist. Such purists, as they were known, regard the recording of Bill Moore, this one, which established the bluegrass sound in the 1940 as a standard against, against which the general should still be measured. No, he's going to say, no, I'm not with you. I'm against you. So here he's going to say, is uh, inconsistent? Yes, this is inconsistent, but we have to continue. Since the bluegrass purists themselves enjoy other musical genre, he doesn't talk about the bluegrass purists. Enjoy others or not. They stress on that their bluegrass is something no or stem from or eliminated from others. He doesn't say that they enjoy or not. As unrealistic as gonna say that this is unrealistic. Since the bluegrass purists have no way of enforcing their musical preferences, he doesn't talk about enforcing of their musical. As short-sighted, yes, he's gonna say that this short-sighted. Because bluegrass could enlarge its audience by including inferences from mainstream genre, it doesn't talk about the audience at all. As illogical, yes, it's gonna say this illogical because the purists overlook crucial aspect of how the bluegrass sound first originated. Yes, they are just saying that it must be actually stemmed from any other genre. But here he said, no, it's a mixed genre. Number two. Cross text connection, what you want based on the text. What would Lisa Trevor, text two, most likely say about the interpretation presented in the underlying approach of text one? Easy with this one. I need you to take the point of view of text two and reply only to the underlying part. Okay. Art historian and archaeologist Lisa Trevor has argued, debated, that the interpretation of much portrayed visuals as hyper-realistic portrayal of identifiable people may inadvertently, inadvertently means unintentionally, disregard the creativity, uh, creat creativity of the object creators. Much ceramic visuals, Trevor argues, are artworks in which sculptors, in which sculptors, 
could free their imagination using realistic objects and people around them as an inspiration to explore more abstract concepts. Again, she said now that this kind of drawing on both vessels is a kind of imagination. Imagination using realistic objects and people around them as an inspiration to explore more abstract concepts. So it's not something real. Let's find how she is going to reply to this. He said, the scholars have interpreted facial markings to represent the scars and other skin irregularities. If you don't understand what does it mean, he talked only also about the visits. But he said that the faces or the markings on those kind of visits is a kind of scars and skin irregularities for the people that was mentioned in the visits. Here he said, no, it's a kind of imagination. So let's find. Markings on depiction of human faces are not necessarily intended unintentionally, inadvertently to portray particular details about the physical appearance of individuals. It's a kind of imagination. It's not something that is concrete. It's abstract. This is what she mentioned. Some vessel may have been damaged. We didn't talk about that the damage or not. We're talking about the painting, that they have scars. They thought that those people that they will live in the march, they have scars. We didn't talk about damage. During their exaggeration and thus provide little insight into much culture. It doesn't say that. Depiction of human faces are significantly more realistic. He didn't say it's not real. Here he said it's not real. How are you going to say that it's more realistic? It's likely, and even it doesn't mention anything about plants or animals. It took about people. It's likely that some depiction of human faces with extensive marking are intended. No, he said inadvertently, unintentionally, abstract, not concrete. Vocab. I need vocab now to put it here. Let's look at the words. And as I told you before, look at the connotation, positive or negative. Reinforcing means strengthening, positive. Anticipating. To anticipate something, to share something. Look in the future. Also, it can be positive or negative, neutral. As I told you, if you find something neutral, just leave now the, the connotation. Optimizing means serve as an ideal example. Transcending means going beyond limits. It's fine. He said the work of molecular biophysics, Enric M. D. Le Cruz, is known for traditional boundaries. Traditional boundaries. Between academic discipline. Okay, but I didn't get anything. So let's read it after. The university laboratory that De La Cruz runs include engineers, biologists, chemists, and physics. And the research the lab produced make use of inside techniques from all those fields. Ah, how a university start to be measured in, with engineers, biologists, chemists, physics. No, now he go beyond the traditional boundaries. So transcending. Transcending, come from the word ascend and descend. Transcend, going beyond limits. Number four, I need the function of the underlying portion of the text. As I told you, the function, it's related what comes before it and after. But the answer is here. The answer is here. Here he said, the first feature of our structure, which is of biological interest, is that it consists not of one chain, but of two. These two chains are both coiled around a common fiber axis. It has often been assumed that since there was only one chain in the chemical formula, there would only be one in the structure unit. However, the density taken with the X-ray evidence suggests very strongly that there are two. He took about the two of chains up. So it established that DNA is a molecule that carries genetic information. No, here it, took a, it doesn't talk about genetic information. He said it not consists of one, it's two. It presents an alternate hypothesis about the composition of nucleotide. We didn't talk about the composition of nucleotide. We talk about the number. It provides support for the author claim about the number of chains in a molecule of DNA. Yes, this is the claim. He talk about it's not one, it's two. And here he mentioned that they are two. It provides support for the author claim. Oh, this one. It confirms the relationship between the density of DNA and the non-chemical form of DNA. It doesn't talk about, yes, it talks about the density. But he doesn't talk about the relationship to chemical formula. Number five. Again, the function of the underlying. Relate to what before and after. The phosphate sugar backbone of our model is completely regular. But any sequence of the pairs of faces 
can fit into the structure. It followed that in a long molecule, many different premature mutations are possible. And it therefore seems likely that the precise sequence of bases is the code which carried the genetical information. Now, the answer is here. If the actual order of the bases in one of the pair of chains were given, one could write down the exact order of the bases of the other one because the specific pairing. Thus, one chain, as it were, the complement of the other. And in this feature, which suggests that how the dicks derived nucleic acid DNA molecule might duplicate itself. Okay. It confirms that the nucleotide sequence are known for most molecules DNA. It doesn't talk about nucleotide. It talk about pairs of chains in DNA. It countered the claim, counter opposite to the claim that the sequence based along a chain can occur in order. It didn't say that it can occur in order. He said that if you know the order of one basis, one of the bases, you can know the order of the other. It supports the claim that the phosphate sugar backbone of the other model is completely regular. It doesn't talk about phosphate here. Yeah, it was mentioned up, but it doesn't talk about it here. The answer is here. It emphasizes how one of chain, one chain of DNA may serve as a template to be copied during DNA replication. Yes, it talk about duplication of DNA. And it talk about how one of the bases is going to serve to know, or one of the chain is going to serve to know the other one. Number six, again, the function of the underlying one, as I told you, relate to what come before and what come after. You have to read all, but the answer is on the part that is underlined. As you know from your, ex your own experience, and there are facts that prove it, the daughters of educated men have always done their thinking from hand to mouth. Not under green lamps at study tables, in the cloisters of scheduled colleges. They have thought while they stirred the pot, while they rocked the cradle. It will doubt that they won at the right to our brand new sixpence. It falls to us now to go on thinking. How are we do? How are we to spend that sixpence? Think we must. Let us think in offices and omnibuses. While we are standing in the crowd watching coronation and Lord Mayor shows, let us think in the gallery of the House of Commons, in the low courts. Let us think at baptism and marriages and funerals. To take care of the repeating of let us think. In English, the repetition means that there is a kind of if emphasizing on something. Then let's find. Let us never cease, stop from thinking. What is this civilization in which we find ourselves? What are these ceremonies and why should we take part in them? Also asking, thinking. What are these proficient and why should we make money out of them? Where in short is it leading us? The procession of the sons of educated men. It emphasizes how novel the challenge faced by women as yet. It took about women, but here it doesn't talk about any challenges. It said that us think only. It emphasizes how pervasive the need for critical reflection is, yes, he said, let us think. So he took about critical thinking, critical thinking, critical reflection. It emphasizes how complex the political and social issues of the day are. He doesn't talk about, yeah, he took about mainly something that relate to social events here, but he doesn't talk about that they are complex. It emphasizes how enjoyable the career possibility for women are. It doesn't talk about career possibility. The main thing, critical reflection, they are thinking. Which choice based state the main purpose of the text? The first sentence, last sentence, like the main idea. And if he makes up between two answers, just to read the whole part. Gov uh, convent or yeah, government in Sydney by the Australian Center by Space Engineer Research, the event brought together mining companies, robotics experts, lunar scientists and government agencies that are all working to make space mining a reality. Okay, so let's talk about space mining. Another commercial venture that sprung up in 2012, Golden Spike Colorado will be offering trips to the moon, including to potential lunar miners. Uh, here also we talk about a kind of company that motivate people to go to the moon to make mining. It note the technological advance that makes space mining possible, Maybe, but he doesn't talk about possibility. He just mentioned here that there are people gathering, mining companies, robotic experts, 
all of this about mining because it was mentioned here. It provides evidence of the growing interest in space mining. Yes, from the first sentence, it shows us that there is a kind of growing interest in space mining. All companies, mining companies, robotic experts, lunar scientists, government agencies, all of them are working to make space mining a reality. It emphasized the large profit to be made from space mining. You know, it doesn't talk about large profits. It highlighted the diverse ways to carry out space mining operations, even it doesn't talk about diverse ways. The function of the underlying sentence. The answer is here, but you can connect it to, uh, to before it. About 750 years ago, a powerful volcano erupted somewhere on Earth, kicking off a centuries-long cold snap known as the Little Ice Age. Identifying the volcano responsible has been tricky. That a powerful volcano erupted somewhere in the world, sometime in the Middle Ages, is written in polar ice cores. They're the one that we need. In the form of layers of sulfate deposit and tiny shards of volcanic glass. Yes, here he mentioned evidence. He mentioned the things that come from the volcano. So it demonstrates the concept of the hands-on nature of the work done by scientists. Yes, there is hands-on nature, but this is not work done by scientists. This is a kind of nature. It highlights the fact that scientists often write about their discovery. We didn't talk about the scientists here. It underscores means make it important. The sense of importance that scientists have regarding their work. Again, we didn't talk about the scientists. It reinforced the idea that the evidence, yes, polar ice cores, layer of sulfate deposit, shards of volcanic glass, evidence that there was a volcano is there and can be interpreted by scientists. I don't care about the second part, but the main thing, evidence. And this evidence is going to be interpreted by scientists. Another one, main purpose, first sentence, last sentence. Another possible candidate, both in terms of timing and geographical location, is Ecuador Kulatua. Estimated to have lost erupted between 1147 and 1320 CE. He took about one of the volcano and he said that it's another possible candidate. Another possible candidate. Here he said that they suggest further strengthens the case that Samales was responsible for the medieval year without summer. In 1258 CE, it persuades that powerful volcanic eruption occur frequently. He didn't say that it occur frequently. Yeah, he talked about eruption, but he didn't say that occur frequently. It inferred that the effects of volcanic eruption can last for centuries. He said last year, but last year use an adverb. Here, last uses a verb. Last, extended. But here, last means the last time. No. It implied that scientists know of other volcano, another possible candidate. The erupt during the Middle Ages, made a full year without summer. Yes. It argued that other volcanoes, okay, have calendars that are very large. It took about calendars means opening. No, it didn't talk about the opening of the volcano. The function of the underlying sentence. You have to read all, but the answer on the, underli on the underline. Why do gift givers assume that gift price is closely linked to gift recipients, feeling of appreciation? Perhaps givers believe that bigger, for example, more expensive gifts convey stronger signals of thoughtfulness and consideration. According to Cameron 1988 and others, gift giving represents a symbolic ritual whereby gift givers attempt to signal their positive attitude toward the intended recipient and their willingness to invest resources in a future relationship. Take care. This is according to Cameron. So it's a kind of explanation. In this sense, gift givers may be motivated to spend more money on a gift in order to send a stronger signal to their intended recipients. As for gift recipients, they may not construe smaller and larger gifts as representing smaller and larger signals of thoughtfulness and consideration. So it offers an explanation, yes, according to Cameron, explanation. It introduced an argument, no kind of argument to fear. It questioned a motive. Nothing here questions. It supports conclusion. Where is the conclusion to support? This, according to Camber, it's a kind of explanation. Number 11. Which choice best stayed the main purpose? The main purpose. He said here, the first and last sentence. Earlier this year, a series of papers in the Lance reported that 85% of the $265 billion spent each year on medical research is wasted. The last sentence. The center will explore what are the best ways to make scientific investigation more reliable and efficient because of the waste. 
It argues that scientific studies, yes, we're talking about medical research, we're talking about scientific investigation, need to be more efficient. Yes, I said that it needs to be more efficient. It described the result of a scientific study. It doesn't talk about the results at all. It explained the history of scientific inquiry. It doesn't talk about the history. It highlights the fruitland nature of many research studies. Don't talk about the fruitland. He just want to just stop this kind of waste. Number 12. The main purpose of the text, first sentence and last sentence. The Algada restaurant was on Sweden Road near Devon Avenue. Talk about the restaurant here. Or nearly, I'm sorry, here. And unless someone had upset a glass of water, the marks on page 177 were from tears. He took about the book. Introduce the, pa the past's main character by showing his nightly habits. It doesn't talk about any character in the first or last. It indicates the day the past takes place by present period detail, no date. It conveyed the past setting, yes, a restaurant. It's a setting, place. By describing a place and object, yes, here he said page 177 means a book. It describes an important event that leads to understand the story's resolution. No important event, actually. It just tells us, us the setting and about page 177. 13, main purpose, first sentence, last sentence. There is yet another approach, another approach. And instead of rooting ethics in character or the consequences of action, we can focus on our actions themselves. The last sentence, according to this approach, the evaluation can still be bad, even if it would make everybody better off. It devolves a counter argument to the claim that greed is good. It doesn't mention anything about greed, first or last. It provides support to the idea that ethics is about character. Wait, does it talk about ethics? Yes, it said instead of rooting ethics in character. Ah, I said instead, instead. So it's not support the idea that ethics about character. It said instead of ethics, no, it counter it. It describes a third approach to defining ethics economics. Yes, yes, he said approach. And here, according to this approach, so he's describing. It illustrates that one's action are results of one's character. I think I just read it here. We can focus on our action themselves. Uh, no. He said we can focus on our action themselves. Okay, let's read the part because maybe this part is going to be provided. So let's read the part in the middle. From this perspective, from this approach, some things are right, some wrong. We should buy fair trade goods. We shouldn't tell lies and advertisement. Ethics become a list of commands, a catalog of dons and don'ts. When a finance official reviews to devalue a currency, because they have promised not to, they are defining ethics this way. No, no, we're talking about defining ethics. So this is not the right answer, D. 14, main purpose, first sentence, last sentence. Some of the largest ocean waves in the world are nearly impossible to see. Despite their hidden nature, internal waves are fundamental, important. Parts of ocean water, dynamics, transferring heat to the ocean depth and bringing up cold water from below. And they can reach staggering heights. Some are tall as skyscrapers. So it explains how scientific devices use. It doesn't talk about any device here. It notes a common misconception about an event. It doesn't talk about misconception, not misunderstanding. It describes a natural phenomenon. Yes, it talk about internal waves. It's a natural phenomenon. phenomenon. And address its importance. Yes, it said why it's fundamental. It presents a recent study and summarizes its finding. No findings was mentioned here. Question 15. The overall structure, I told you, look at the first sentence and look at the first part. First sentence and first part. Ken settled on the Chakar partridge as a modern species, but he might not have made his discovery without a key piece of advice from the local rancher in Montana, who was supplying him with birds. Okay, the first part here, he said, it reveals Ken Dyle's motivation for undertaking his project. No, he doesn't talk about any kind of motivation. He said that there was a problem and without solving this problem or without anticipation of a local rancher, he's not going to make this discovery. It underscores certain differences between laboratory and field research. No, it doesn't talk about that in the first part. It shows how an unanticipated, a key piece of advice, piece of information, Elvis can die research, yes, key piece of advice. So maybe this.
It introduced a key contributor to the tree down there, maybe. So A, we are between C or D. Let's read the part, the, the, uh, the rest of the paragraph and find which one will match. Is it C or D? When the cowboy stopped by to see how things were going, Ken showed him his nice tight laboratory setup and explained how the birds first hopped and flies would be measured. The rancher was incredulous, surprised. He took one look and said in pretty colorful language, what are those birds doing on the ground? They hate to be on the ground. Give them something to climb on. At first, it seemed unnatural. Ground birds don't like the ground. But as he thought about it, Ken realized that all the species it watched in the wild preferred to rest on ledges, low branches, or other elevated birds where they were safe from predators. They really only used the ground for feeding and traveling. So he brought in some hay bales for the chuckers to perch on and then left his son in charge of feeding and data collection while he went away on the short work trip. Okay, let's find now. And then it shows style modified procedure. Yes, he modified. He bring hay to meet the new information that right. Let's find here. And then it represents his method. He doesn't represent. He modified. 16, the main purpose for a sentence, the last sentence, there are only two sentences. This hypothesis can best, can best, can best be tested by a trial wherein a small number of commercial honeybee colonies are offered a number of preferred produced plants. We talk about an experiment. As well as a typical bee food source such as clover. While controls are offered only the clover, mites could then be introduced to each hive with note made to the choice of the bees and the effects of the mite parasites on the experimental kinds versus control colonies. It's a kind of experiment. It summarized the results. No, thank you. It's only an experiment. Nothing indicates the results. It proposed an experiment, yes, to investigate how different diets, is to talk about different diets, affect commercial honeybee colonies, susceptibility to mite imposition, yes, that right. It provides a comparative nutritional analysis of the honey. We're not talking about the honey. We're not talking about the honey. It predicts the most likely outcome. We didn't talk about the outcome. It's still experiment. 17, the overall structure. The first sentence, then the first part of each one of them. The problem of our age is the proper administration of wealth. That the ties of brotherhood may still bind together the rich and poor in harmonious relationship. A person in history is generated. Yes, he said our. So maybe. A position is stated, yes, here there is a position, a problem of our age. Certain principles are stated, no principles. It's only one. A historical period is described, no historical period. So we are between A or B. Let's complete the rest. In former days, there was little difference between the dwelling, dress, food, and environment of the chief and those of his retainers. The contrast between the palace of the millionaire and the cottage of the laborer with us today measure the change which has come with civilization. Without wealth, the good old times were not good old times. Neither master nor servant was as well situated then as today. A relapse to old condition would be disastrous to both. Not the least so to him who served and would sweep away civilization with it. But whether the change be good for all, for good or ill, it's upon us beyond our power to alter. Therefore, to be accepted and made the best of, it's a waste of time to criticize the invisible. Okay, here he said historical examples are given. No historical examples, no examples, no, no. From the second part is not. Historical context is given, yes, he said in formal days. This historical context. Earnest advice is given, yes, he said it's a waste of time to criticize the invisible. So it's B. 18. Vocab. As used in text, what does the phrase not readily favorable most merely, nearly means? Let's find with the connotation. A, unable to be authenticated, negative. Likely to be contradicted, negative. Without empirical support, negative. Not completely and so on, negative. So I can't work with this. I'm going to look here. My emotions are complicated and what come before and equal to what come after. Complicated and so I need something that has the same meaning of complicated. Not completely understood. Complicated, not completely understood. Again, vocab. Conflicts, negative. Mismatches, negative. Collisions, negative. Rules, negative. 
tricks. Rules means tricks. Many moral dilemmas arise when these three versions pull in different directions, but are not inevitable, cannot be avoided. Okay. So I need something to talk about many moral dilemma. Conflicts, yes, it can be. Conflict. Mismatch. Mismatch is going to be between a man and a woman. Collision as an accident. Rules is going to be for people. So the answer is going to be conflict. 20, vocab again. Average, neutral. So forget about connotation. Shared positive. Courts means common. And similar positive. Let's go here. It seems to us incontestable means no competition that our common happens happiness the kids of course also means common but in the negative way above all of that women require that they never aspire to the exercise of political rights and function wait i need something that no competition in it so share if something shared no competition is gonna be between them another vocab appearance neutral Custom, neutral. Structure, neutral. Nature, neutral. No, let's find here. Akira came directly breaking all tradition. Breaking all tradition. Was that it? Had he followed what? Oh, easy. Had he followed a tradition, custom? Had he asked his mother to speak to his father to approach a go-between? Would Chai have been more receptive? Yeah, so it's a tradition. Custom. Overall structure. Look at the first sentence and the first part. Okay. Michelin, best in B, a historian and citizens of the Chukachu nation has identified a dilemma inherent to research on the status of women in her tribe during the 1600 and 1700s. So she found a problem. The primary sources from that era, travel narratives and other accounts by male European colonizers underestimate the degree of power conferred in Chuka to women by their traditional roles in political. Sebi. Yes, only the first sentence, Dunya. You forgot about this one? The first sentence and the first part. Then after that, you're going to eliminate. Go now to the, the part after. So now she told us a problem with the primary sources underestimate the degree of power conferred on Chuka to women by their traditional roles in political, civic, and ceremonial life. Okay. It details the shortcoming of certain historical sources. Yes, there is a shortcoming, was mentioned. It describes a problem that, that arises in the research particular topic. Yes, there is a problem. So it can be also be. It lists the advantages of a particular research method. No, it doesn't talk about any advantages. Cancel. It characterizes, characterizes means also positive. A particular topic, especially chance to research? No. So now we are between A and B. Complete the rest. Best and Boo argue that the Shukatu oral tradition and finding from archaeological site in the tribe homeland supplement the, the written record by providing crucial insight into those roles. So now she told us how we can solve the problem. Let's find the second part. Then argue that research should avoid those resources altogether. No, he didn't. She didn't see. She didn't say anything about to argue. Here he said, a sketch, a historian approach to addressing that problem. Yes, she told us how we can solve this problem. Cross-text connection. Based on the text, how would the researchers of text two likely respond to text one? How this will respond to this one? Let's take the point of view of this one. The researchers thus conclude that range and anxiety may be an overstated concern. Since EV, yes, EV means electric vehicle, can meet the daily travel needs of more than 85% of U.S. drivers, even after losing 20% of their originally rated battery capacity, they also conclude that batteries can, this can, satisfy daily mobility requirements for the full lifetime of an electric vehicle. So now he showed up the positive of the electric vehicle. Let's find how he's going to reply to this. With present day technology, however, electric vehicle cannot compete, negative, with internal composition vehicle. According to one review, energy distances two and five times greater are required to meet the performance goals of a future generation of plug-in hybrid 
electric vehicle, PHEVS, with a 40 to 80 mile all electric range, and all electric vehicle EVS, with a 300 to 400 mile range, respectively. To make the leap, scientists will have to find now new couplings of battery material. Now, this is going to be against. It's going to say, no, it has positive. They would argue here, they would argue, yes, that it's likely impossible to meet the performance need. No, he said it will meet. They satisfy daily mobility. This he said, this is the one that he said, no. This is the one that he said, yes. I need to take the point of view, this one. He's going to say, yes, not impossible. They would claim that most electric car drivers Need batteries that can last for more than no, he said satisfy. Also, it's gonna be against this. They would agree the electric car batteries don't currently meet. No, he said satisfy. They would assert the electric vehicle likely have performance range greater than initial thought. Yes, satisfy daily mobility. Again, cross text connection. The author of text one and the author of text two would most likely agree with which statement here now. Find the point of agreement, whether you're going to read text one first or text two first, find the agreement between both of them. Still, researchers are hopeful of a breakthrough. They can now use computing to accelerate the discovery of new electrode and electrolyte system. This creates a positive feedback loop in which computing inform experiment and experimental results help refine the computing process. This high throughput iterated process may be scientists ultimate hope for discovering material that can significantly improve the electrochemical performance, safety, and cost of batteries. Here, with today's electric vehicle, EV batteries, end of life is commonly defined as when the storage capacity drops down to 70 to 80% of the original capacity. As capacity fades, the vehicle range decreases. Brickley researcher decided to investigate, so both of them want to investigate the extent to which vehicles still meet the needs of drivers beyond this common battery retirement threshold. Let's find. Human need to stop using fossil fuels as energy source. It doesn't talk about, both of them doesn't talk about fossil fuels. Researching the performance of electric car batteries is a worthwhile endeavor. Yes, both of them want to research on the electric vehicle. The travel, the travel needs of US driver are likely greater than anticipated. Here only that talk about the driver. Here it doesn't talk about them. Electric cars will soon become more popular than internal composition vehicle. It doesn't talk about popularity. 25, the overall structure, the first sentence. Earlier this year, a series of paper in the Lancet reported that 85% of the $265 billion spent each year on medical Re research is wasted. Okay. An explanation of a phenomenon is given. No, we're not talking about phenomenon. We're talking about wasting of something. The identification of a problem is proposed. Yes, here there is a problem. A prediction for the future is stated. No, nothing about the future. The introduction of an argument is mentioned. Yeah, maybe there is a kind of argument. So we are between B and D. Let's continue the rest. It's because too often absolutely nothing happens after initial results of a study are published. No one used the finding to build a new technology to give us the reasons. The center will explore the best ways to make scientific investigation more reliable and efficient. For example, there is a lot of interest in collaborative team science, study registration, stronger study designs and statistical tools, and better peer review, along with making scientific data, analysis, and protocols widely available so that others can replicate experiment, thereby fostering trust in the conclusion of those studies. Okay. In B, he said, and a proposal for solving this problem is issue. Yes, he told us how he's going to solve this problem here in D. And the counterclaim refuting this argument, nothing that refute, nothing that show that this argument is wrong. So the answer is B. 26, cross text connection. Based on text, the author of text one. And the author of text two would most likely agree with which statement. Again, here, I don't care about the, the time or which one that you're going to start with. I need the point of view that they are agree on. Men being, as has been said, by nature all free, equal, and independent. No one can be put out of this state and subjected to the political power of another without his own consent, his approval. The only way whereby anyone diverts himself of his natural ability 
and puts on the bonds of civil society is by agreeing with other men to join and unite into community for their comfortable, safe, and peaceful living one amongst another. In a secure enjoyment of their properties and the greatest security against any, there are no of it. This any number of men may do because it injured not the freedom of the rest, they are left as they were in the liberty of the state of nature. When any number of men have so consented, approved to make one community or government, they are thereby presently incorporated and make one body politic, wherein the majority have a right to act and conclude the rest. Here he said, the social contract should increase the well-being and liberty of every citizen. If one, if any one decided condition should slip in, if one part of the citizen should find himself by the contract subordinated and exploited by the others, it would no longer be a contract. It would be a fraud against which Adam might be any time be invoked justly. Okay. They both acknowledge that participation in society increase the appearance of every individual. No. Here he said, no, it will not increase. Here he said, yes, it will increase. I need agreement. They both agree that participation in society increased the liberties of a limited number of citizens? No. Maybe this, but this no. The author of text one believed that participation in society increased the liberty of those in the majority? Yes. Yes. While the author of text two believed that it doesn't increase the liberty for everyone? No. He said it will increase everyone. The author of text one believed that participation in society decreased individual liberty. Yes, he said that. To join a community, it will decrease its liberty. While the author of text two believed that it increased them, yes. So the answer is D. Also, cross text connection. Based on the text, what would the author of text two most likely respond to the underlying part of this one? Only take the point of view of this one and find how we're going to respond to the underlying part. The social contract should include all citizens with their interest and relation. If a single man were excluded from the contract, if a single one of the interest upon, upon which the members of the nation intelligent, industrious, and sensible brains are called upon to bargain were omitted, the contract would be more or less relative to or special. It would be not be social. Okay, let's find how he's going to say that. It's necessary that the body should move the way with the greater force carried it, which is the concept of the majority. No, it's not going to accept. Agreement? No. Agreement? No. It's going to disagreement. And here disagreement. So whether it's C or D. Disagreement because society must address the needs of every individual. Yes. Text 2 said that. The contract must address every individual. Disagreement because some minority opinion may in fact be better than, no, he doesn't say that. He said that it must address all members. Don't you clear? Yes. Massa clear? Yes. So I'm clear? Yes. Okay. Let me send you the answer for this one. With the record, we still have time. Now it's your first test. With time, no. The first one is not going to be with time. It's not going to be with time. As I, as I, uh, I told you before, each module is 32 minutes. Each module is 32 minutes. You have to adjust your timing. The first test is not going to be with timing. But try. Try to put time. Like to try to put in front of you 32 minutes. But I'm not going to take it by time. Only the first test. Okay, you're going to solve it now. 
and send it to my WhatsApp. I want you to solve it digitally. So solve on, uh, take care. You can work immediately on the file, on your computer or in your um, iPad or in your mobile. So you can work immediately on it. And after that, just send it to me on my WhatsApp, private. Stop working. Adjust your time on 30 minutes. But the first test, I'm not going to take by time. I'm not going to take it by time. Waiting for your answer now. No one leaves. 